communities around Asia. For that, thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. So uh, with this, may I invite uh, Mrs. Yap and Benedict to you know um, take the seat and for Ambassador himself to, to, to witness. This is now we're going to do a very simple <laughs> signing ceremony, <laughs> right, of the surgical mask. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> so this so we can change. Well, if you could take a picture, this is for actually the delivery of these masks, and so maybe each of us can so, take one. So, uh, also, uh, Excellency, you all know that the uh, Field Invest Development Corporation and the foundation associated with Mrs. Young has helped us also in the support of the last month of the day. Thank you very much. Yes. So, what do you carry the mask? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's <laughs> do we get to bring it home? <laughs> <laughs> you just want to wait to make it one more, one more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, since everyone is online, we thought that this afternoon, we tied to witnessing the signing ceremony, you know, to, to deliver the mask. We have actually uh, asked uh, for the dialysis machine to be brought uh, to the room this afternoon. I'm asking a colleague now to bring it in. So we're turning into a hospital here soon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, that's impressive. Right. Well, um, uh, Secretary and, and, and Ambassador, you know, all the dignitaries, uh, besides the mask that, that's going to go over to, to Manila, um, very happy to share with you that um, if everything goes to plan and delivery doesn't get, um, you know, sort of interrupted, we should have this delivered to Manila arriving on the 11th of April. We have in front of me this machine, which is called, okay, I'm not a technical person, but I'll try my best to explain what it is. This is actually, sorry, just give us a minute. This obviously is a dialysis machine known as the multi-filtrate uh, with citrate calcium. Um, really what it is, it is a, they call it a CRT, a Continuous Renal Replacement Therapy Machine. Uh, obviously, it is, uh, looking at it, this is really meant for patients with uh, very severe and almost you know, very critical uh, kidney failure. Uh, and, and this will come in very useful in, obviously, in the hospitals uh, in, the, in, uh, in the Philippines. And uh, I'll, we'll be sending over uh, 15 of these units, uh, wow. Secretary. Uh, um, and, and this together with this will be another two machines. Uh, let me just show you the brochure. We don't have it. One is called the dialysis um, uh, 408S uh, machine. And another one is what we call the portable uh, reverse osmosis machine. Uh, together, these two, as I understand, they will form as a portable dialysis machine, which can be used for home dialysis. Okay. And uh, we'll be sending over eight of the four, four AAOS and 16 units of Aqua C. So um, all this together with the mask that, that we witnessed uh, earlier, we hope that uh, you know, without further delay, it should arrive uh, in Manila uh, sometime on the uh, 11th of April. Uh, and we hope, you know, 
over, over in Manila, you'll be ready to receive them and this will be put to good use uh, for the people of the Philippines. Okay. Um, and later on, you know, for those who are here, you want to learn a bit more, I have a colleague, uh, Ming Li, who, who, who is the, the clinical person. She'll be more than happy to, to explain and uh, how this machine actually works. So, so, so with that, Secretary and, and Ambassador Ho, you know, this kind of concludes a very simple ceremony we have to, this afternoon. Um, perhaps, Secretary, if I could uh, have the honor of um, inviting you to say a few words to everyone present this afternoon, sir. Uh, well, um, um, I'd like to thank you very much. As usual, uh, Tamasek Foundation has been very generous, and this is really key, um, as I said, from family experience and friends, this is a really key piece of medical equipment for the Philippines. And I guess maybe you, maybe it's true that both our peoples like uh, sweet things and that we end up <laughs> in that situation. But I can tell you, um, it, gives, it really, what you're giving here is a gift of many more years with our loved ones. I've experienced that myself. Uh, and gratitude is very deep. Well, my friendship with Singapore has been always there. And, and uh, I don't know, the years just make it more and more real and, and, and deeper and more and more uh, uh, something that I hope will always continue. There don't see any, any reason why to not go from strength to strength. Really, thank you so much. Always, Ramasek thank you. comes up with the best. Director Antonio. Thank you. Okay, uh, if I may invite Director Antonio uh, from BOH to speak to speak a few words as well, Director, please. To the Honorable Secretary Tudor Roxin Jr. of the Department of Foreign Affairs, His Excellency Ambassador Gerard Ho of the Embassy of Singapore in the Philippines, His Excellency Joseph Yap our Philippine Ambassador to Singapore, Under Secretary Robert Borges, Chief of Presidential Protocol and Presidential Advisor on Foreign Affairs, Mr. Benedict Chong, Chief Executive of Temasek Foundation, Mrs. Josephine Yap, President of the Philinvest Corporate City Foundation, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. The Temasek Foundation has actively supported the Philippine COVID-19 response since it was declared a pandemic last year. Today, as an affirmation of Temasek Foundation's continuing support, we are pleased to witness the ceremonial turnover of another batch of donations to the Philippines. These recent items, which among to almost 100 million pesos of dialysis machines and its accessories is a long way in helping improve the capacity of our public health care system. We are also grateful to Phil Invest Corporate City Foundation for its relentless efforts in partnering with Temasek Foundation and DOH to be able to send over this valuable hospital equipment. Lastly, to the staff and Ambassador Yap of the Philippine Embassy in Singapore, we thank you for your tireless coordination with DOH to make all of this come together. DOH will do its best to enable the timely release and distribution of the machines to the hospital recipients upon arrival in the Philippines. The Filipino people will never forget the kindness you have shown in these trying times. Maraming salamat. Oh, sorry. You you said Robert Bohe. Um, would you, could we invite you to say a few words this afternoon as well? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Secretary, um, Your Excellency uh, Tito Roloxin, uh, our Secretary of Foreign Affairs, of course, um, our Ambassador to Singapore, Ambassador Yap, uh, Ambassador Jared Ho, uh, Singapore's Ambassador to the Philippines, uh, our distinguished colleagues uh, in Philippine government, 
and of course uh, the officials from Temasek Foundation and the uh, Philinvest uh, City Foundation. Uh, Marami salamat po. Uh, Secretary Luxin has uh, said it uh, very eloquently and articulately. Uh, this is more than just technical assistance. This is adding years of quality uh, lives, not just to individuals, but to families. And for this, we're very grateful to Temasek Foundation, for everyone who has worked very hard on this. Uh, on day one, the Department of Foreign Affairs has been <coughs> relentless in ensuring that uh, the partnership with the Philippines are translated to uh, concrete um, uh, cooperation. And it is uh, due to their leadership and, of course, uh, to uh, the efforts of Temasek Foundation that this have come to pass. And we are certain that uh, this will not be the end. Uh, so uh, we let us reiterate again our thanks for everything that uh, the Masic Foundation has done. And we'd like to thank our uh, colleagues in the Philippine government and the private sector for really uh, coming up with a whole of nation approach, private public partnership that benefits not only the Philippines, but the friendship between the Philippines and Singapore. Thank you. Marami salam. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. And uh, if I may invite uh, Ambassador Gerard Ho, sir, would you, could you kindly say a few words to us this afternoon? Thank could, you, Ambassador. Could, could you I thought that? I was going to escape without having to say <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ambassador. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, well, I think everything has been said. I mean, uh, good to see everyone here, Secretary Loxin, uh, the Secretary Borne, um, Director uh, Antonio from the DOH, and of course, our, our, our my dear uh, friends in Singapore uh, from the Mastic Foundation, um, Ben and Gerald. And last but not least, of course, the person who was very instrumental in, 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 in bringing this together, uh, Ambassador Yap, and of course, his lovely wife, uh, uh, Miss Josephine. Um, thank you so much uh, for doing all this. I think, uh, as I said, everyone has talked about, has said all that needs to be said. I think Singapore and Philippines are close partners, close friends. We are family in ASEAN. And... Um, this is the time uh, where uh, all of us face uh, massive challenges uh, because of the situation and uh, where we can, we should uh, extend a helping hand uh, to help each other. Uh, and actually, this is what the Masik Foundation has always been about. And I, I must really thank the Masik Foundation for always being so generous, not just uh, speaking as someone in the foreign ministry, not just to, to the Philippines, but to, to our region, you know, uh, and... Uh, and this is something that uh, I think from the government perspective, we have always uh, emphasized uh, that we live in this neighborhood. Um, these are our neighbors, these are our friends, these are our family. And um, when your family is in trouble, you, you must always be there uh, to extend uh, whatever help you can. So thank you for, for keeping to that spirit. And uh, we hope that you continue to, to do uh, and uh, your part and uh, help the Philippines um, and of course, make my job uh, a lot easier. So, <laughs> <laughs> so thank you again. And uh, thank you to all the colleagues and friends in the Philippines for you know, facilitating uh, all these. I think Robert and I have gone to the airport many times together. So um, I'm sure you'll be very smooth and the cargo will be safe. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. If I may not invite Ambassador Jia, I really thought I can say <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, again, just to echo everything that's been said already, uh, Secretary Luxin has said it very eloquently. We are very grateful for all of the help and donation that has been uh, uh, provided by the Masek Foundation since last year, since the start of the pandemic. Uh, I have seen firsthand all of that, and we have worked, we have coordinated, we have worked closely together to make it happen. And uh, as I've always said before, we're very grateful for all of the assistance that you've given. And uh, it, it, uh, last year, I think the estimated value of the donation was about 600 million pesos in peso terms. And, and this year, this shipment alone is about 100 million pesos. So that's uh, a lot of uh, donation coming from the generosity of Singapore and the Masek Foundation, and we are very grateful. And uh, we are very happy whenever we are uh, able to, to also from our uh, private side, be able to cooperate 
to make it possible for the last mile, the delivery of the donations, uh, the freight costs and so on. And we're, we're happy to be able to do that as well to make sure that this uh, valuable and uh, necessary uh, medical uh, equipment and uh, urgently needed to help in the COVID uh, uh, response uh, is immediately brought to the Philippines. So we're, we're quite happy to do whatever we can as well. So again, on behalf of the Philippines, the Philippine government, the Philippine people, uh, we would like to thank the Masek Foundation and the people of Singapore, the government of Singapore for all of your assistance. And we look to cooperate much more in the, in the future. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, may I, if I may, if I may just add, yes, I would, I would like to say um, thank you to Ambassador Mrs. Yap. You know, um, they're the best ambassadors we have had. <laughs> and I'll tell you one thing, we are very lucky to have had them there in the pandemic. Um, they've never left their post. They, um, their help has been invaluable. And uh, uh, I don't know who's luckier, Singapore to have them or us to have sent them there. <laughs> I would like to, to, to thank well, them both, both uh, for their great service. Well, last but not least, I need my boss to <laughs> thank you. Well, please. <laughs> no, nothing else is to be said. Thank you very much, Ed. We promise you, all of you, <laughs> as uh, Ambassador, of my friend Ambassador Gerard said, we are here with the Philippines for the long run. Because we are neighbors, we are friends. The story that COVID goes, no one is safe until everyone is safe. Now, if you flip it around, if Philippines succeeds, Singapore succeeds. If Philippines and Indonesia and, and Thailand and Malaysia and everywhere in ASEAN succeed, we succeed. So we must succeed together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we have one final task. Sorry, we have one final task, and if you could just get your patience, we are just going to move to outside for a group photograph. So uh, you just give us a, a minute or two. We're going to orchestrate and this. Your, your faces will be on the screen outside. So That's just, right. Uh, give us a few minutes. Yeah. So yeah. If, you, if you can ask for your 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 video to be still turned on, we are uh, give us a minute or two. We are just going to move one outside. One minute. One minute. Uh, yeah. Sixty seconds. It starts now. Sixty. Okay. okay let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Robert, I think you have to move.